Hey y'all. There's this uh, acoustic, it sounds like a demo version of uh, All Down the Line. So just do All Down the Line acoustic search on YouTube and you'll come up with a few of them. Now one thing to note is I think they play back at different speeds so some of them would be open G with the capo at 2 which is the one I'm playing with. Some of them the capo will be at 3, some of them I think it'll be at down at 1. So just find whichever one you want, tune to open G and then put the capo on where it makes sense. It might be in the crack so you may have to fiddle with them to get it right. But, but eventually you'll wind up, at least on this version, with something that sounds like open G, capo at 2. Uh, it's a good workout for Keith's strumming style, especially then when he was a lot tighter in his rhythm playing. Uh, because you get a lot of triplets in it, you get uh, upstrokes on it, so... That typical open G suspension, one up on the B, two up on the D. I've kept the low E string on this and just tuned it down to D. So up here at 7 from the capo. You, you don't get the, the usual suspension with the D string suspended. You only get, it sounds like to me, only, he's only doing the B string. Triples, you, triplets, you get the upstrokes because you, you don't want to do. That's that's a little bit too. I don't know, a little bit too uh, up tempo. Well, I mean not up tempo, but it just doesn't have the same feel. different feel if you do it up and down you know now this version doesn't have uh, you know lyrics finalized in fact it sounds like it's kind of cool because it sounds like not not so much a demo as it is a writing session so I think Mick T is doing some sort of sounds like Strat or Telly fills on it Keith on acoustic of course and Charlie does some great tight drumming on it but Mick is kind of feeling out the lyrics as they're singing it, and it sounds like he stumbles onto the all down the line line. As soon as he gets that, it sort of falls into place. But um, this is a good one to practice on uh, keeping the time, locking in there with Charlie. Get your upstrokes, get your triplets, and. Uh, using that. sometimes. So we'll try to follow it. I'm sure I'm going to miss some changes because they're, they just seem sort of random at this point without a verse, but we'll see.
there, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of rhythm to it, and a really good workout to try to even really if <laughs> even to try to recover from missing the changes is a good workout too because you gotta immediately get right back into it once you miss the change because unless you memorize the whole four minutes of it, uh, you're gonna miss a couple. <laughs> Uh, but I, I like that one as a, as a workout on Keith, and uh, especially the triplets part, because he doesn't do them every time. So that, again, that's a matter of feeling it, and I don't, I don't, there might be a rhythm, uh, a, a, a pattern to how he does it, but that sounds to me like he's just into it, you know, doing the triplets when, when the time is right. So good luck with that, and uh, get on your triplets. Good luck.